What's going on, y'all? It is your favorite on Timo, and I am back for another episode review of Jocelyn's Cabaret. Y'all, I'm so mad. <laughs> I done already recorded this video, but uh, Rama, I had some mishaps, and I had, and now I'm recording it again. And so, um, I'm a little irritated with myself because I wasn't paying attention as I was recording. So, um, yeah, this is take two. This is Johnson's Cabaret, season one, episode five. Why we not in the video? Mo, Auntie Mo, why you ain't had your shit together in the first place when you record this video? Because it was hot like fire. Now you got to do it again. And y'all know when I take my notes for this, I take quick notes so that I can quickly, you know, and then all that, I'm shooting off the hip. So all my ad living and all that I done did, I'm going to have to. <laughs> and I had hot fire for y'all too. God damn it, I tell you what. Look here. If you ain't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. Before you leave, let me know that you stop by. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. And then hit the notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get into this review. God damn it. Because I done already got into it before. But y'all don't know that. So I ain't going to take that out on y'all. I don't mean to cuss like that. That was rude. Hopefully y'all are ready for this review because I'm ready to give it to you. Lord, I done went through my Moscato. Hopefully y'all are ready for this review. Cause I'm ready to give it to you, girl. Let's go ahead and get right on up into it, y'all. So we got Lucky and Jay, y'all. They meet up at the little sex toy shop. My favorite, <laughs> aside from TJ Maxx, <laughs> whoop, whoop, one of my favorite goddamn going places to go to. They up in there looking for outfits, cause tonight they're supposed to be having rehearsal for the cabaret. Finally, these hoes finna find out what the hell the cabaret is, what the hell they got to do with the ca that goddamn cabaret, right? So, they looking for outfits. They looking at all the different other toys and all this and other stuff. Lucky says she got popular off of webcamming because of the different things that, you know, variety that she brings with the different adult toys to the webcam world. You know what I'm saying? She got real popular off of that. Shout out to you, Lucky. Bitch, I ain't mad at you. Hi. Sapphire ends up coming and showing up with him. Then Jocelyn ends up showing up. Jocelyn is like, look here, I need you bitches to be ready because we have a rehearsal tonight and this Friday. We performing for all these niggas. Some of them need y'all to make sure y'all got y'all shit together because uh, we going to be motherfucking cabaret and motherfucking cabaret. Yet. they like, all right, did you talk to the mother two hoes? Let them know what was going on whoop -de whoop with the video so these hoes don't come in and be all mad and all of this. Jocelyn was like, look here, no, I still ain't talked to them hoes, but they're going to show up to rehearsal tonight and then we deal with it when we deal with it tonight. It's just going to be what it is. And so they're like, okay, well, um, look here. You already know them hoes going to be mad. I'm going to need you to keep them bitches on a rope. Keep your bitches in check. They don't start nothing. It won't be nothing. Jocelyn then asked Jay if she can call her daddy to ask him uh, permission to see if she can go to work a little bit later. Now, Jay like, look here. <laughs> Bitch, I'm late every night. Daddy, please stay putting his foot in my goddamn ass. So look here, I dial a number, but I'm gonna need you to talk to daddy. And, and, and you ask daddy what you need him to do for me. Cause you get it for me, bitch. Nah, he not knocking my front side over your goddamn ass. Look here, you need me, you I'm gonna dial a number and you you talk to daddy your damn self. Now even Jocelyn was nervous. Jocelyn was like, oh shit. Okay, hold on. So she ends up FaceTiming daddy. Daddy like, what's up, what's going on? What can I help you with? She like, uh, hey, hey, daddy, hey, hola, como estas? Me llamo Jocelyn, muy bien. Um, so, is it okay if, um, Jake comes to work a little bit later? Probably like around 1130, because, you know, um, I don't know what time everything's going to run late until now. Daddy was like, look here, that bitch stay late. So how's this gonna affect my money? How you gonna make up for the differential? Do I got to find your ass? How this gonna work? Cause uh, daddy still gonna have to get his goddamn ducats at the end of the goddamn night. So how y'all gonna set this shit up? You set it up, but daddy needs his ducats. So basically, he gives up a mission. But Jay let her know, look, bitch here. Daddy need his money. He either gonna get it out your pocket, out your ass. But daddy need his money. So bitch, I need to be out here at eleven thirty, not eleven thirty one. Not 11.32. Daddy gonna be up in here with all kind of shit ready to shut this shit down. And I ain't got time for it. Y'all tonight at rehearsals. All the girls is there. Lucky J, J uh, Chazzy, Daisy, Sapphire. They all there, right? Soon as they walk in, Jocelyn immediately just starts going in 
on Chastity and Daisy called them two dollar nappy head ass hoes. You bitches ain't shit. You bitches is weak. You weak ass nappy head hoes. I mean, going off on their ass left and right. Then Johnson says something to Daisy about I expect I ex um expect more from you because I put your baby at your pussy. I said what? What was it? Shout out to Lizzo. What was it? What y'all talking about? That threw me off completely when she said that. But apparently, her and Jocelyn, Daisy and Jocelyn are friends in real life. And so, Jocelyn was there when Daisy had one of her babies because she helped pull the baby out. So, they friends in real life. But the way Jocelyn was going off on that girl, child, she was going off on that whole like she didn't know her. Like she was cussing her up one way and down the other way for that to have been her friend. And then for you to pull a petty move like that, like invite her to the video shoot but not put her in it not at least let her know that she's not gonna be in it that shit was shady as hell but that's supposed to be your friend but hey that's how y'all do it over there in y'all friendville whatever y'all at you know what i'm saying they just start going off they all getting into it then chazzy and day chastity and daisy start getting into it with lucky and jay and then they start getting into it with sapphire and then everybody just bitch it was just a whole lot of whole lot of I'm not going to give y'all the play by play, the blow by blow, because it was just a whole bunch of going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And, and I, 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 I just couldn't take it. I couldn't goddamn take it no more. Then Daisy asked Johnson, when they getting paid? Why are we not in the video? When we going to get goddamn paid? Child, that's when Johnson goes off on her ass some more. Like, look here, I told you motherfucking bitches that I pay you when I pay you motherfucking bitches. Why you steady asking me that shit? I said I was going to pay, then I pay you. Now, Johnson ain't... They, they lost, baby. They don't know what to do. I'm on the other side of the TV screen, and I don't really don't understand what the hell it is you're trying to do neither, but it ain't for me to understand. They there, and they don't goddamn understand. They don't know what they get paid, and they don't know when they getting goddamn paid. But Jocelyn starts to drag her ass even more, going off on her ass. Then after she drags them, she try to give them a whole pep talk. Look here, us bitches just got to get in here. We just got to get this motherfucking money. We got to make these millions from these motherfucking trick-ass niggas. We just got to get this motherfucking money. I was like, I'm still lost. Is we, is we prostitute? Is we tooting? Is they dancing? Are they performing? Because I, I don't know. Y'all, so the girls go back in the locker room to get dressed for the for the rehearsal. They about to rehearse now for the cabaret. I said, okay, thank God. Give me an idea of what the fuck is actually going on. So, Daisy and Chastity over here talking shit about all the girls, talking shit about Johnson. Meanwhile, you got Sapphire, Lucky, and Jay over here on the other side of the locker room living their best goddamn life. Not worried about none of these other hoes over here got going on. But Daisy... And Chastity to be so pretty. They got such ugly insides. And the outs and the insides is showing on the outsides of you. And it just makes you pure D butt fucking ugly. And I don't like that. They ain't got no real reason not to like these damn girls. It's like you, you, you talk so down and so bad about them, what they ain't and what they not. But bitch, they look better than y'all. I'm sorry. I feel like they do. They they that's just my opinion. I'm all for the brown skin girl. I feel like they look better than them any doggone way. Especially the attitudes. <sighs> your attitudes is fucked up. Oh, your attitudes is fucked up about. Chai, it's time for the goddamn rehearsals. This rehearsal was a damn mess. Now, Jocelyn is telling them to follow her lead. She doing a one-two, one-two step, one-two. But she's so focused on the camera and trying to look sexy to the cameraman that these hoes back here, they can't follow her damn lead because they don't know what the hell she about to do next. She all over the damn place. She, one minute she on the upbeat, then she on the downbeat. Then she getting on they ass because they not keeping up with her. But bitch, they don't know what she doing, which... Mind you, Johnson had a drink in her hand the whole goddamn night. So the bitch was, she was just little, she wasn't lit lit. She had a little flame to her though. Bitch had a little bit of flame to her. I will say that. So she trying to be sexy and all this. And I mean, they, they just couldn't keep up now. Them hoes didn't know what to do. I, hell, I used to do choreography back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Back when I used to have a little yeah, yeah, you know, I couldn't keep up with that shit. 
I'm just saying, you know, they trying to follow her, but then again, at the same time, they're like, okay, well, bitch, I'm trying to look cute up here, too. I don't want to look too crazy, because I don't know what this bitch doing, but I'm just going to do my own damn thing, child. Jocelyn gets mad, stops in the middle of it, then starts yelling at them. They're like, bitch, you on the downbeat, we on the upbeat, we try to get to your beat, you come back to our beat, we don't know what the hell we doing, your instructions ain't clear. Bitch, give us a diaphragm, a gram, a diaphragm, say a diaphragm. Give us a diagram, bitch. Something we can go goddamn by because we don't know. Put some feet on the floor or, or, or something, goddamn. Child, so they end up going through it again, trying to follow her. They all, oh, girl, it was just a hot goddamn mess. But in the end, they was able to kiki, kaka, and be done with it. Child, afterwards... Jocelyn is talking with Lucky and basically she's telling Lucky that she appreciates her for being in her corner and for riding for her and that, you know, you know, she just wants to be there to help her for that. And Lucky appreciates her being sort of like a big sister and, you know, just wanting to be there, you know. Now, um, Lucky tells her that Shabazz is worried about how this is going to affect the money. Now, you know, once again, Jocelyn ain't told these hoes how much they're going to get paid and what they're going to get paid and what they're going to get goddamn paid to do. So she like, look here, although she says Shabazz ain't her pimp, look here, baby, I'm going to just tell you what it is. Either he your pimp or he your sugar daddy. Ain't no in-betweens, ain't no gray area, it's a black or it's a white. Pimp, sugar daddy. Either he taking your money or he giving you money. Either way it go. Bitch, do you. Do you. Ain't nobody knocking what the fuck you do. God damn it. Girl, you better live your best young beautiful life. Do what you had to got. Now be safe. Be safe. But um. Girl, just call that spade a spade. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with it. He ain't no bad looking nigga. He pimping though. He, 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 he fucking pimping. Hey, it is what it is, though. But, um, this is what I don't like Jocelyn does. Jocelyn tries to talk down on them girls as if she's up here and they down here. Like, I don't like how she was saying to, to Lucky, like, how do you feel that he's 50-something and you 20-something? Like, you don't feel funny being with this older dude? Now, Jocelyn, bitch... Don't act like you ain't have to do something strange for a little piece of change back in your day or whatever it is that you don't have to do. I don't think that's right that she judged, not even judged them. She talks at them girls. You don't talk to them like you're trying to mentor them, like you're trying to give them good advice. You're talking at them like, look here, this is what you need to do because this was going to work and this was it. Do, 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 do. That ain't how you do it. That ain't how you do it. And then only that, girl... Don't you got to be somewhat established in your life and in your career and all of that before you try to hand advice out to the next person? Most shut up. I'm just saying, I don't like how she do that. It's the difference between talking to people and talking at people. And I don't like how she talks at them girls like that. Like, girl, come on now, pot. Sit your little pot ass down. Let these little kettles do what they do. You stay on your side of the stove, and they're going to stay on their side of the stove. That's all I'm saying. Child, so they backstage. Chastity and um, Daisy back to talking shit about Jocelyn. Jocelyn walks in as they talking shit about her. Lord, next thing you know, Chastity and Daisy just start going off on Jocelyn, trying to call her out like the only reason why you let Lucky and Jay and, and Sapphire in the video is because they ugly and they weak and you wanted to look better than them and that's the only reason why you got their asses in the video. Jocelyn steady calling them $2 nappy head ass hoes. You hoes ain't this, you hoes ain't that. Child, it's just a whole lot, a whole lot of with them going back and forth in each other's face. Then, basically, Jocelyn tells them that y'all two got the weakest storylines on here. Y'all weak as hell. Don't nobody give a damn. Da, 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 da. Now, Daisy starts, no, that was um, Chastity that tells her, like, I'm a businesswoman. I have, I think she said, what did she say she have? She has a, a boutique. She has a hair district. Dis she's a hair distro. And um, she got a recovery place. She said watermelons on the side of the street makes... Tate and soap dispensers, all that bullshit, whatever that is, she said, right? Johnson say, you ain't no goddamn businesswoman. You still got paper tags on the 84 Toyota. Bitch, I'll bust it out laughing when she said that shit. That shit was funny as hell. But baby, when I tell you Chassie came back and got that ass, Chassie say, bitch, didn't you get evicted from your place? Why the fuck is you talking about paper tags on my car? You ain't even got no goddamn place. Child, 
That goddamn Jocelyn went from, from blue to red. Cha, next thing you know, she grabs the girl by the back of her hair, puts her down, and proceeds to try to walk this bitch like a dog. Like she for real trying to walk this bitch like a dog. Girl, you know if your dog piss in the coffin, how you get their hair and you put their head down in the bitch. <laughs> She tried to potty train that bitch like she was a dog. What about that bitch? What about that bitch? No more. What about that? Bitch, don't you move. Tried to do that whole like goddamn dog. Child, that was funny as hell. The episode pretty much ended from there, y'all. Because there was a whole lot, a whole lot of that went on from that. Child, I can't wait to see goddamn next week. Because next week, Daisy tried to jump in. She grabbed Daisy and starts walking her ass like a dog, too. I said, Johnson don't be playing when she says she's going to walk these hoes like a dog. She really tried to walk this bitch like a dog. That ain't funny. That ain't funny, but that shit was funny as hell. Oh, Lord, that was funny as hell. Lord, look here. If y'all seen this, if it was anything that I missed, y'all already know, drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's going on, y'all? Look here. If you like this video, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up. Share this video, comment on this video, all of that good stuff. And if ain't nobody else told you today, I sure enough love you and I sure enough appreciate you.